friends, it has started. It is chick day at my favorite feed store. It is CNR Feed in, it's a Ragland address, but it is Cold City, Alabama, where I live. No, you cannot come visit. We're not open to visitors. But my oldest son, Jonathan, works there now, has been there for about four months, and he said that the chicks just came in, so I'm off to buy some. Well, have a good day. Now look, I bought way too much food and I bought two terribly expensive rolls of wire. It's five foot high, 100 foot long. This is the woven. It has these where the wire is wrapped around itself. It is not welded. It's five foot high and extremely thick and heavy. Now look at this, cinnamon goats trying to get some of the world's best goat food. I'm about to dish it out for them. Now that I've got it mixed up. Let's see what this is. Look at that. Yum. Delicious. Goat food. And cinnamon. Now y'all, he still needs a new home. If you were anywhere near Pell City, Alabama, and you want a wholesome roots goat, he is a buck that came from Rose. The wholesome roots and he needs a new home. Speaking of rows that hold some roots, that was George Rooster. I think that I'm going to let her take all of my Muscovies. I'm getting another project going for ducks and she needs more Muscovies to free range at her house on her acreage and with her pond. This is Uncle Charles and Charlie's Angels. Okay friends, we are home. Let's take a look at what we got. I did not get Cuckoo Marins. What I did get, I got five. Oh no, I'm doing this one handed. I got five of their olive eggers. Now these came from Mount Healthy Hatchery. I will have to look and see what exactly these are mixed with. Typically it's an Americana hen with a Welsomer or a Marin's Rooster. Now, there were all colors in there and Jonathan helped me get these bluish colored ones. Now over here labeled as Americanas, we have Easter Eggers. And again, we picked out the bluish 
colors. Now these are not true Americanas. Mount Healthy does not sell true Americanas. Neither does Ideal or Murray McMurray. These are Easter Eggers. These do lay bluish colored eggs, but they they're not they're not bred to the standard of perfection for purebred true Americanas. I personally, I don't currently have any Americanas, or I would show you the difference, but Americanas have muffs under their chins, and they have pea combs, and they're bred for certain color characteristics, and they lay blue eggs. But these are going to work just for colored egg layers, and I am happy to have them. And now I'm going to get them out of the truck and inside and in a brooder. And I'll give you an update in a couple of days of how they're doing.